Hey, Baka. Hey, Molly. Hey, Kalu. <clears throat> What's up, y'all? What are you looking for? Go with our Of course it's so much easier. <clears throat> You're just murdering everything. That's why it was really easy for me to go back and do uh, uh, Draenor flying. I just like breeze through everything. Did I not get that flight path? Apparently not. Well, let's go out there, shall we? You should eventually go back and get uh, Draenor flying as well. It'll help you level up your alt so much faster. Hey mom, how are you? <clears throat> yeah. It'll also make it a lot easier because you can you don't have to worry about being killed by alliance. Well I said it, it's too late, lady. It's done. Told Cappy, you better get to work, woman. For some reason, I don't think me saying that on stream made her happy. Uh, that's an elite guard. I'll just run through him. Bitches didn't even aggro. Oh. I had nothing. I do. Why am I walking on the water? Whoa! What is that? Writhing Leviathan. That's cool. Yeah, I don't want to swim down there. Screw that. <clears throat> I find I find this really weird that I'm walking through these enemies and they're not aggroing. Why why are they not aggroing? I mean, I'm fine with this, but they're red. They should aggro, right? This makes me a little nervous. I'm afraid, like, at some point the game is going to realize what it's done, and, like, half of the zone is going to aggro me. Scared of my dope tiger? This is a viable possibility. Also, it's a panther. Oh, yeah, also it's a panther. It is a mana saber. <clears throat> Shit is dope, yo. Final Fantasy XIV enemies will not aggro if you are 11 levels higher than them. Uh, well, in WoW, le enemies scale to your level. So, <laughs> the exact opposite occurs here. They will always aggro you. <laughs> well, not always. <clears throat> because eventually you will outlevel them. 
their scaling is based off of the the level range for the zone. So for example, in the beginning areas, the ranges are usually like 0 to 40. So the enemies will be anywhere from level 0 to level 40, depending on what your level is. And then after level 40, they just they stay at 40 and you outlevel them. It is becoming difficult to breathe. Choking fog. What the hell just happened? Thank you for this beverage, Cappy. You're welcome, Matthew. Tee hee. Does that mean you can Does that mean you can go anywhere and the enemies will always scale to you? No. You you can, like I said earlier, you can outscale the enemies per zone. Uh, but some of the zones don't start scaling until 100. So the yeah, exactly. Some zones are 40 to 60, some are 70 to 90. So if you go in them at level 15, they're level 70. So long as you're within the scaling range, the enemies will scale to you. Yes. How the hell do I get up there? Sounds neat. Yeah, it works really well. <clears throat> it makes it so that um, going into a new zone doesn't necessarily feel extremely overpowered to you. The new zone won't. So if you're like level 40 and you just finished a zone that was like 20 to 40 and that now you go to a zone that's 40 to 60, you're not walking in the zone and immediately getting your ass handed to you by like level 58s. Because that, that's never fun. So instead you walk in there and everything's 40 or 41. Maybe the high stuff is 42 or 43. And then if you, if you quest and level up, now that enemy you just fought that was 40, he's now 41. Okay. Maybe I need to go up. I think I went down is the problem. No, up is a flight point. <clears throat> How the hell do I get over there? Do I have to come from here? <clears throat> hey, John, what's up, dude? I can't go there because I started choking. But there's enemies down there. One twenty elites. Maybe that's maybe that's the dungeon. Maybe that's this, and it's actually a dungeon zone. <clears throat> what dungeon is this? Shrine of the Storm. Maybe you could find a horde race that you like. If you're into pretty and dressing up, blood elves are the way to go. Those blood elves look pretty. Mm-hmm. 
<clears throat> Let's try to come at this from the other side. Nightborn? Oh, Nightborn would look really good, yeah. The only problem with Nightborn is you'd have to unlock them first, yeah. Exactly. That's the one thing I do like about WoW, is WoW has unlockables, but they do not allow people to pay to get them unlocked. So it's not like, hey, you could get this by doing all this incredibly difficult stuff. <clears throat> or you could just pay us 20 bucks. And we'll unlock it for you for $20. And I'm totally, I'm so glad they don't do that. That's such a huge cop-out. Because then you got a bunch of people that just have money, but aren't any good at the game, and they've got cool shit that you can't get. Oh, I guess I could mount up. Why am I able to water walk here? This is really interesting. I shouldn't be able to water walk. Huh. Oh, shit, I'm not one to complain. Something is obviously going on here, and I don't know what it is. How many character slots do you start with? I think right now it's 11? It's a lot. <laughs> You're supposed to have a slot available for every race and class combination. Not every... like... Uh, it's every class, actually. No, I was incorrect. It's every class. And I think there's 11 classes. I'm listening. Trinkets and bubbles. Beneath the tides, these terrors do not fit to stay within their warrens. Could I have a Draenei main and then a Horde character hang out with you? Uh, not on the same server, I don't think, unless that's changed. It used to be you could only play either Horde or Alliance on one server, not both. But I don't know if they've changed that. You could always have Alliance characters on a different server from us. And then have a horde character on our server. That that happens all the time. They've emerged in the night, stealing away to the villages and indulging in their avarice. They will use the professions against us to serve in their rituals. Rituals of summoning and communion. With powers too terrible to comprehend. The populace is no concern of mine anymore. Uh, but I would not see these briny thieves to have their way. Relieve them of their plunder and let them learn a bitter lesson. Victory for Sylvanas. Stolen supplies retrieved. <clears throat> Baka is a traitor, confirmed. You need to buy the expansions too? The base, the base game has every expansion except this one. So you could play all the way up to 110 for the base game. Uh, WoW does that now where all you have to do is you buy the base game and you get everything except the newest expansion. You would need, you would need to purchase the newest expansion if you wanted to play it to get the last 10 levels, but... 0 to 110, no, you could do that for whatever the 40 or 50 bucks the game costs. Stock. Sounds reasonable? Yeah, it's not bad. Apparently I am pacified. I'm supposed to retrieve the baubles. Where are they? I can't... I don't 
understand. Is, it, is this why nothing's been attacking me out here? Because I've been pacified? I am confused. I don't know why, it just feels really weird that nothing's attacking me and it's freaking me out. You played the game for so long where everything can attack you and then nothing wants to attack you and it makes you really nervous. Is there more over here? There is. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> I'm freaking out, I'm freaking out. Okay. Yeah, aggro doesn't work that way here. Aggro is based off of threat. So, dealing damage to an enemy causes threat. Healing a ally while they're fighting an enemy, that causes threat to the enemy. Because the enemy detects that you're helping the guy hurting it. Especially if he's about to kill it and you heal him. Oh, that pisses him off real bad. And then there are special abilities that will either generate... That, that are there specifically to generate threat. Uh, for tanks, for example. Or abilities that are there specifically to reset threat. Oh, you mean, you mean them attacking you in the wild? No, this is AoE based. If you're within a certain range, they'll aggro you. Unless they're asleep, then you have to be really freaking close. It? And and the, the level difference between you and the enemy uh, adjusts that radius. So if you out-level the zone, let's say you're like a level 80 and a level 40 max zone, the level 40 enemies are not, uh, they're not aggroing you as though they would if you were level 40. You have to get a lot closer. All right. Where there is no peril, there can be no glory. Paid for in blood. I can see the darkness in your eyes. Your next effort will shred the mind, and you shall become another phantom to haunt me. You are not ready. When turn when you are, and the next task will be waiting. The corruption 
has had eternity to fester and grow. A few days are of little import. Interesting. What about Drustvar? Alright, there's definitely something to do in Tiragard. We're gonna we're gonna whistle out of here and fly over to Tiragard. Wait, no. Where am I going? What brings you here? Good luck. Hey, a bat. The music transitions are a little too abrupt sometimes. They need to fix that. I'm fine with them fading the music out and fading the mu new music in, but that whole like da 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 da, uh, and then a new song starts. That's really abrupt and just like ugh. <clears throat> this is not a problem anywhere else. There's little little issues like that that are going to come up with the expansion, and they'll fix them with little hot fixes. I figured out, uh, I, I was reading in X's chat the other day, and I figured out why he hasn't been on WoW. <laughs> he, uh, he downloaded the expansion and started playing, and then uh, they released a small patch, and he doesn't have the hard drive space to download that little patch, so he can't play anymore. <laughs> well, I don't know why David just doesn't just buy... Uh, bigger hard drives or a secondary hard drive to store all his videos on Because he's all like I have all these videos I have to edit and render so that I can free up space so I can play WoW again And it's like why don't you store those on a different drive? And then I remember he's only got the one I'm Like dude, you got to get another drive man. Come on <laughs> Pop a secondary drive dump all your videos onto that problem solved Lord Admiral's favorite friend. I'm Jane. I was a sellsword before serving on a merchant vessel. I'm sorry. I was a sellsword serving on a merchant vessel before the sirens dragged us in. These folks fished me out of the tideway, gave me a nickname, and have been like a family to me ever since. They may seem a bit odd, but they're good, honest people. For some of them, washing up here was a welcome change from whatever life they endured before. A chance to start over. Others were just trying to survive until they can get back. It's tough out there. Pirates, deadly monsters, Hungry Sam's seemingly endless battle with indigestion, 
Nothing sets the nerves at ease like an old keepsake. Something to remind you of home. Something to keep you going. Ask around the camp. Find out what folks might have lost out there in the tideways. If you can bring any of it back to them, it'd be a mighty kind gesture. Oh, me? I, I had a locket. Never mind, it's too small. You'll never find it. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. <clears throat> Silencing the sisters. The sirens in this tideway have drawn countless ships to their doom. Wiping them out uh, would be a boon to all seafaring folk. But you can't very well kill all of them. Only a fool would try that. The real dangerous ones are the elders. The sisters, as they're known. Bigger, smarter, and stronger than the younger ones. Their voices carry far out to sea and bring in the big catches. I managed to track two of them to a den at the northern end of the tideway, but I can't take them alone. Smooth sailing. Lord Admiral's favor, friend. Got anything to eat? What's your favorite thing uh, you lost in the wreck? Safe passage, Gio. My trusty lunchbox. Never had a bad meal out of that lunchbox. I miss it dearly. Good day, Gio. I'm starving. <laughs> Not actually starving, like when I first got here, but, you know, emotionally starving. Haven't had any luck with the oysters lately, and seaweed soup really upsets my guts. If I eat any more of that stuff, I think the other castaways might actually feed me to the sharks. How about them tide lurkers? They look pretty juicy. Bet you could stake the, steam them up real nice. Can you get me some? I'm not much of a hunter, but I'll share them with you. The cool ways to the sea. Blood in the tides. We do not have sirens in Zandalar. But our sailors know of them. In Zandalar, we call them Bwantulak, the Death Singers. My ship was run aground, and my fellow sailors all murdered by the Death Singers. Jane saved my life, so now I protect these people. Sirens are a plague on the seas, no matter who you serve. Run the tides red with their blood. Ahoy. What did you lose in the wreck? Oh, wait, no. Hey there, traveler. You wash up with the tides like the rest of us? I know it's not much. But you're welcome to stay in our little camp as long as you'd like. Safe passage to ya. Probably my compass. I'd never let me it never led me astray. Well, until we ended up here. But that's hardly the compass's fault. I mean, it's an inanimate object. You can't really blame. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. Let's go ask this folk over here. Why am I what is pacified? You got the coin? That's how you got the bargains. Name's Bill. You got anything that needs fixing? I'm your man. What did you lose? Appreciate your patronage. I had a toy robot. A little wind-up fellow I bought from a gnome back in Borlas. No. Okay. Baka, yes. I know what being pacified means. I just don't know how I became pacified. Or how I become unpacified. Thought I didn't know what the word pacified meant? That's adorable. Can't attack while pacified. What the fuck? I don't understand. Let me log out and log back in. Something's fucky. This has never occurred to me in WoW ever. Being pacified like this. So either it's something that they didn't properly explain to players, or it's a bug. Yeah, well, hold on just a second. I'm going to I'm going to restart wow. Baka didn't think I was confused. Baka thought I was stupid. <laughs>
<laughs> All right. <clears throat> Let's try this again. I'm out of range. There we go. It was a glitch. All right. Well, I guess it helped me navigating through towns that I shouldn't have been in. It's too far away. God damn it. I said I was going to change that. And I didn't. I'm going to change that right now. Hold on. Uh, no, personal settings. Overlay. Enable in-game overlay off. Shift to... Hey, now it's not doing it. Awesome. Good. Get out of here, Discord. That was really annoying. Hmm. I don't look like sirens I've ever seen before. I need to get closer. Come here, siren. Uh You know, these guys kind of look like those that little ear monster from Star Trek II, the Wrath of Khan. Does anybody remember what that little earwig monster looked like? Yes. Yeah. I remember. It looks very similar to that. I wanted to say that for you. It's too far away. You don't think so, or you, you haven't seen it? Got the compass. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe. What? Oh, sorry. Oh, okay. Sorry, you just got really quiet. <laughs> it's too
Permanent pacification is a rare bug since 2011. Interesting. I got a rare bug. I'm out of yeah. It did turn out to be helpful, yeah. In <laughs> hey, don't do that. That's rude. I was fixing my hair, my, uh, Headphones. You can't switch sides on me like that. Wow, what a dick move that is. I like that he's wearing a, a, a pirate hat, though. That's cute. Nah, he don't have no peg leg. Yeah, I like it. The bird's name is Foul Mouth. Oh, we need two more toys, two more favorite things, I'm sorry. And two the two um lady doodles. Nailed it. giant, an, I'm sorry, a glint of metal catches your eye among the gently bobbing flotsam. Digging into one of the tangled seaweed, you discover a locket of simple yet sturdy design. Opening the locket reveals a hand-drawn picture of a woman with fiery red bangs, her arm around a woman with short cropped auburn hair, and the two are proudly displaying warm smi smiles for the artist. Cool. That's the, that's the lady's locket from earlier. There's the robot. No! Let me do my quest. Alright, now we just need the lunchbox. Because the two ladies are right there. Penelope and Lope.
Killed a couple of seagulls. Yeah, take that. Lady said I would never find her locket. Found it. Is that dude's lunchbox? Let's kill these two ladies. Ladies. I'm gonna kill you. Let's kill the lope first. Oh, it aggroes both. That's fine. Is there a flight path back there? Yes. Quick way to go back. <laughs> that little teeny burb. Good luck, dude. Excellent. All right. Hey, Stabby Jane, I got some cool shit. You've made the seas safer for all. You have my thanks. Hungry Sam. Admiral's favor, friend. His stomach growls audibly. You're a lifesaver. Hang on a second. I'll cook these up in no time. Safe passage to you. Sailor's pie. That sounds gross. How much does it heal for? 79,000? Okay. I don't have that appearance. That's kind of cool. Is that a poleaxe? Yeah, it's a staff. Okay. I don't have this shield. That's cool. I like that. Yeah. Cool. So I got those appearances. What can I do for you? Silencing the sisters. By quieting their deadly songs, you have saved countless lives. My favorite things. We've all lost something in the tides, some more than others. I didn't think you'd actually find all this stuff. We don't have much, but here's a little something for your troubles. Hmm, what's that you got there? Is that... Jane takes a locket, opens it tenderly, and, be and tears begin to well in her eyes as she closes it and ducks it away in her jacket. Thank you. Keep the wind in your sails. Don't you ever let that happen again. <laughs> <laughs> what can I do for you? Uh, no. Lord, really, that's his only... Uh, he doesn't man. sell anything? <laughs> this guy does. You got the coin? That's how you got the bargains. All right. Uh, that was a crap helmet. I don't want that. Bad shield. All that was junk. All right, and we'll repair all my much doofs. All right, let's look for more quests here. All these say zero, which usually means they don't actually exist. Okay, so I've got these two. Where's that one at? They're both up there. All right, so let's go fly over to Waning Glacier then. We'll see if we can go do those two, uh, those hunts. What can I do for you? Maybe that'll unlock something for us. 
I'm a little stumped as to what I'm supposed to do over in this area because there's not really like a um uh there's not really a a quest hub for horde Marshall's grave, death on a tide sage, at the bottom of the sea, and a strike on Borlas. So there's definitely some quests there already. Get revered with all of these groups. Okay, that's fine. This is basically going to happen from world quests. And there's, there's a quest for world quests. Really, it's this I have to work on. The others are just going to come. Diplomat and World Quest, those will come with time. This one I could, I should be able to do now. I just need to figure out how to do it. Ah, uh, here's the one with the hook hand. He's so cute! The music just... It's like, come on! Come on, guys. Do some fading. Of course, Baka starts cursing. She just said fox. Fox! Yeah, for fox sake. Don't forget your daily. What daily are you referring to, Mom? You talking about these? Yeah, one of those is Vold and I, isn't it? Two ninety five wrists. That would be an upgrade. Three hundred feet. Yeah, let's go do those. Well, that's some good, uh, those are, those are... Oh, it's because of the... Yeah, it... yeah, 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 that one penguin. Yeah, that one penguin that fell in love with the anime girl. The anime girl character. Yeah. That's adorable. That's super adorable. I remember reading about that story. Yeah, he was lonely, so they got a little anime girl cut out, and he fell in love with it. So they just left it there. Because they were going to... They put it in there, and they were like, we're going to get him another penguin, but... And they did. They did get him another penguin, but he didn't want the other penguin. He wanted the little anime girl cardboard cutout thing that they had. But then he died. Yes, you're right. Yes, he's, a guy. he's he's he's, he's dead now. <laughs> and I like the fact that they uh they uh they they made a little sh a little a grave slash shrine to him, and they have the little anime cut out at the grave. That's really that's really cute and adorable. Angle point wharf. Wharf. Are these guys high level? They are. We're going.
Apparently he doesn't need the other one. Yeah, that's for true. That's for true. Did I say that? Hey, Karita, you don't have to get my attention before you say something. You can just say it. Just FYI, that way you're not, like, waiting around for me to acknowledge you. Just put, like, at awesome at G and then say what you're going to say. That way I don't miss it. Well, because for the longest time there were no groups, so I was all like, well, let me get into the group ahead of time. It was the dude I just said, hey, do you need this? says so in a game you do a co-op activity like a dungeon one person wants to do it for the ending which gives currency and they just spam that they want i'm sorry give me a second and they want to spam them just for it meanwhile the other player in the team wants to kill all the enemies to drop stuff from them for an event is it selfish for these players to ask for the Ask the first stuff from that. Wait, no. Hold on. Let me get someplace where I'm not running away from Alliance guards. And I'll read that. Yeah, it's, it's okay. I get there's there's a setup involved. I get that.
Okay, now let me read this. One person wants to do it for the ending, which gives currency, and then just wants to spam them for it. Meanwhile, the other players in the team want to kill all the enemies to drop stuff from them for an event. Is it selfish for these other players to ask the first to spend a little bit more time progressing to also help the other members of the team? No. I don't think so at all. I don't think it's unreasonable if if it's a fi let's say it's a five man group and one person wants to go all the way to the end, kill the final boss, leave, and then do it again, rinse and repeat over and over and over again, but wants to skip everything else, and the other four people in the group want to do everything, it's definitely not unreasonable to ask the one person to do what the other four want. Oh yeah, I've been in that situation many times. I find it extremely frustrating. Quartermaster, good work. Hopefully that's that means we'll be losing less supply drops now. You're talking about Destiny 2? Destiny 2 probably is a bad example for that particular situation because Destiny 2's gameplay is built around going fast. I've, I've never watched anybody ever play Destiny 2 slowly. Never. <laughs> now the complaint should stop. Thanks a lot. Be good. Maybe I'm just incorrect in my assessment, or I'm not watching different kinds of people, but every time I've ever seen anybody play Destiny 2, they're going like 500 miles an hour. Fang, hold. What were you laughing at? 